Namaha and Namaste. So welcome to your five minutes of self-care. Last week, we spoke about wild hearts and protecting your passion, staying in integrity and aligned within. Many times in life, you find ourselves in a position where we have to somehow accept opinions or views of other people, situations, organizations, institutions. But this is not the case. Whatever you believe in within of yourself is so important to protect it, to guard it, and to always know what is right and what is wrong. And many people have the excuse to do something which is absolutely wrong and find excuses that it's the absolute right thing to do. Yeah. And when this happens, you just allow that to unfold because that is pretty much their karma they put on themselves. I used to be always a person that fought and fought and fought for the truth to come out because I'm a quite a truth seeker and I'm also quite a fighter for justice and fairness. But sometimes you don't need to do anything. The truth always comes out. And sometimes it comes out later or sooner. And that is perfectly fine. You don't need to do anything. And for instance, the teachings of Tai Chi have shown me that we stay in our divine feminine energy, the yin energy, to just observe how energy unfolds without having to act directly. But knowing when to act, this is the key, knowing exactly when you want to act. I used to be an absolute control freak want to always figure out the next step, manipulate, try to get our people to fight my cause. But it doesn't make any sense because there's a reason why things happen. And once you have this trust, and that's why I find it very important, spirituality, something believing in something bigger than oneself, universe, spirit, guidance, and you feel, okay, if this happens, then it's supposed to happen. It's okay. Instead of fighting it. Because we human beings want to control and we want to fight and we want to control a specific outcome. But sometimes it is very much better to just let it go and not fight. Just let it go. Stay in the yin energy and see what happens. I used to say in the yoga classes that I taught in the past, one door closes and another door opens. And this is how life works. Once you have learned a lesson, it's time to move forward and move on. This can be in relationships, this can be in jobs, this can be in any situation in your life. And that's perfectly fine. And once you accept that and surrender to the flow of life, and be grateful to see the signs beforehand so you know how to prepare yourself. Then this is the key to really go with the flow. This is how it works. And this is the key, I do believe, in happiness. This is also the belief in, in unconditional love of, of life. And to just accept that. I know that this is not hard because we want to not necessarily let go and we feel there's something unjust happening towards us. But that's okay. Because if you believe in something higher than yourself, the unjust will be made just. It is this way. There's always a balance, cause and effect. Namaha. Namaste.